So iOS 18.1 and developer beta 7 has now been available for a couple of days. And this is basically the final beta, guys. This is it before the RC, which is set to be happening soon here in just a couple of days. Now, Apple is expected to launch 18.1 to everyone worldwide on October the 28th, according to Mark Gurman. So that is less than two weeks as to the filming of this video. So we're getting really close for Apple's launch of Apple Intelligence with 18.1. So in this video, I wanted to go over some of the latest changes I've noticed within the latest beta for iOS 18.1, beta 7. And now before we get to some of that information, I also want to talk about other Apple news. A brand new iPad mini 7th generation has been announced by Apple. It is available for pre-orders as of today. It will be available in stores on October 23rd. Now there's four new colors, space gray, purple, blue, and starlight. There's also new Apple Pencil Pro support with the new iPad mini. There's also a new storage capacity available. 128 gigs of storage is now available on iPad mini, seventh generation. We get the Apple A17 Pro chip with eight gigs of RAM for this one, which will enable Apple intelligence with the upcoming iOS 18.1 and iPadOS 18.1. There's also updates to Wi-Fi with Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth updates to 5 and two times faster USB-C transfer speeds. Now, in other Apple news, Apple is previewing new features coming to iPhone for businesses. So Apple has just previewed new iPhone features, including enhanced caller ID, where you can have your business registered with Apple, featured in Apple Maps, and also get your logo or icon on your caller ID for your customers, for businesses. You can have your brand logo in the emails application. And this could be one of the reasons we haven't seen the redesigned mail app just yet. It is rumored to be happening with iOS 18.2 in the future, but it looks like Apple will be enhancing the business side of things on iPhone with the new caller ID for businesses and brand and logos for the mail application coming soon for iPhone. Now, AirPods Pro second generation recently did get another beta, so a new firmware update is now available for AirPods Pro second generation. Now, the AirPods Pro new firmware is 7B5013D. Now, it is expected that AirPods Pro second generation will be getting hearing aid capabilities here soon with the next update coming to AirPods Pro. We haven't seen any signs of that just yet on the latest beta firmware, so just keep in mind that Apple continues to update AirPods Pro second generation and those new hearing aid features could be available soon for AirPods Pro 2 customers alongside iOS 18.1 or 18.2. We're not sure exactly when Apple will enable these features. Now, one thing I did notice that was new within iOS 18.1 beta 7, and I think it's the only thing I've noticed is new, is the new Apple Intelligence logo or the new Siri icon for the Siri command setup process. As you see, obviously, the feature has been available forever, but the new icon for Apple Intelligence is replacing the old Siri icon when you go through the setup process on your AirPods Pro second generation with iOS 18.1 developer beta 7. And that's basically everything I wanted to share with you guys. Not much happening with the latest beta. Some minor changes here again. This is basically the last beta. This is the final beta. RC is expected sometime in next week on the week of the 21st and if mark german is right ios 18.1 and apple intelligence will be available for everyone on october the 28th which is the following monday after that so thank you for watching guys i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys on the next one peace